Chapter 16 Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand. And better it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. For by one that hath understanding shall the city be replenished, but the kindred of the wicked shall speedily become desolate. Many such things have I seen with mine eyes, and my ear hath heard greater things than these. In the congregation of the ungodly shall a fire be kindled, and in a rebellious nation wrath is set on fire. He was not pacified toward the old giants, who fell away in the strength of their foolishness. Neither spared he the place where Lot sojourned, but abhorred them for their pride. He pitied not the people of perdition, who were taken away in their sins, nor the six hundred thousand footmen, who were gathered together in the hardness of their hearts. And if there be one stiff-necked among the people, it is marvel if he escaped unpunished, for mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. As his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judgeth a man according to his works. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrate. Make way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his works. The Lord hardened Pharaoh, that he should not know him, that his powerful works may be known to the world. His mercy is manifest to every creature, and he hath separated his light from the darkness with an animate. Say not thou, I will hide myself from the Lord. Shall any remember me from above? I shall not be remembered among so many people. For what is my soul among such an infinite number of creatures? Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens, the deep and the earth and all that therein is, shall be moved when he shall visit. The mountains also and the foundations of the earth shall be shaken with trembling when the Lord looketh upon them. No heart can think upon these things worthily. And who is able to conceive his ways? It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most part of his works are hid. Who can declare the works of his justice, or who can endure them? For his covenant is afar off, and the trial of the things is in the end. He that wanteth understanding will think upon vain things, and a foolish man, erring, imagineth follies. My son, hearken unto me, and learn knowledge, and mark my words with thy heart. I will show forth doctrine in weight, and declare his knowledge exactly. The works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning, and from the time he made them he disposed the parts thereof. He garnished his works forever, and in his hand are the chief of them unto all generations. They neither labor, nor are weary, nor cease from their works. None of them hindereth another, and they shall never disobey his word. After this the Lord looked upon the earth, and filled it with his blessings. With all manner of living things hath he covered the face thereof, and they shall return into it again. Chapter 17 The Lord created man on the earth, and turned him into it again. He gave them few days and a short time, and power also over the things therein. He endued them with strength by themselves, and made them according to his image, and put the fear of man upon all flesh, and gave him dominion over beasts and fowls. They received the use of the five operations of the Lord, and in the sixth place he imparted them understanding, and in the seventh speech an interpreter of the cogitations thereof. Counsel, and a tongue, and eyes, 
ears, and an heart, gave he them to understand. Withal he filled them with the knowledge of understanding, and showed them good and evil. He set his eye upon their hearts, that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts for ever, that they might declare his works with understanding. And the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. He made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments. Their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid before his eyes. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make to themselves fleshly hearts for stony. For in the division of the nations of the whole earth he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, whom, being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. Therefore all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. But the Lord, being gracious, and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. The alms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of man as the apple of the eye, and give repentance to his sons and daughters. Afterwards he will rise up and reward them, and render their recompense upon their heads. But unto them that repent, he granted them return, and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face, and offend less. Turn again to the Most High, and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and hate thou abomination vehemently. Who shall praise the Most High in the grave, instead of them which live and give thanks? Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead, as from one that is not. The living and sound in heart shall praise the Lord. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord our God, and his compassion unto such as turn unto him in holiness. For all things cannot be in men because the Son of Man is not immortal. What is brighter than the sun? Yet the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine evil. He vieweth the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. Chapter 18 He that liveth for ever created all things in general, the Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but He who governeth the world with the palm of His hand, and all things obey His will. For He is the King of all, by His power dividing holy things among them from profane. To whom hath He given power to declare His works, and who shall find out His noble acts? Who shall number the strength of His majesty? Or who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. When a man hath done, then he beginneth, and when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful. What is man, and whereto serveth he? What is his good, and what is his evil? The number of a man's days at the most are a hundred years, as a drop of water unto the sea, and a gravel stone in comparison of the sand, so are a thousand years to the days of eternity, 
Therefore is God patient with them, and poureth forth his mercy upon them. He saw and perceived their end to be evil. Therefore he multiplied his compassion. The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, but the mercy of the Lord is upon all flesh. He reproveth, and nurtureth, and teacheth, and bringeth again as a shepherd his flock. He hath mercy on them that receive discipline, and that diligently seek after his judgments. My son, blemish not thy good deeds, neither use uncomfortable words when thou givest anything. Shall not the dew assuage the heat? So is a word better than a gift. Lo, is not a word better than a gift? But both are with a gracious man. A fool will upbraid churlishly, and a gift of the envious consumeth the eyes. Learn before thou speak, and use physic, or ever thou be sick. Before judgment examine thyself, and in the day of visitation thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sins show repentance. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, and defer not until death to be justified. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself, and be not as one that tempteth the Lord. Look upon the wrath that shall be at the end, and the time of vengeance, when he shall turn away his face. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger, and when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. From the morning until the evening the time is changed, and all things are soon done before the Lord. A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense, but a fool will not observe time. Every man of understanding knoweth wisdom, and will give praise unto him that found her. They that were of understanding in sayings became also wise themselves, and poured forth exquisite parables. Go not after thy lusts, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. If thou givest thy soul the desires that please her, she will make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies that malign thee. Take not pleasure in much good cheer, neither be tied to the expense thereof. Be not made a beggar by banqueting upon borrowing, when thou hast nothing in thy purse, for thou shalt lie in wait for thine own life, and be talked on. Chapter 19 A laboring man that is given to drunkenness shall not be rich. And he that contemneth small things shall fall by little and little. Wine and women will make men of understanding to fall away. And he that cleaveth unto harlots will become impudent. Moths and worms shall have him to heritage, and a bold man shall be taken away. He that is hasty to give credit is light-minded, and he that sinneth shall offend against his own soul. Whoso taketh pleasure in wickedness shall be condemned, but he that resisteth pleasures crowneth his life. He that can rule his tongue shall live without strife, and he that hateth babbling shall have less evil. Rehearse not unto another that which is told unto thee, and thou shalt fare never the worse. Whether it be to friend or foe, talk not thou of other men's lives. And if thou canst without offense, reveal them not. For he heard and observed thee, and when time cometh, he will hate thee. If thou hast heard a word, let it die with thee, and be bold, it will not burst thee. A fool travaileth with a word, as a woman in labor of a child. As an arrow that sticketh in a man's thigh, so is a word within a fool's belly. Admonish a friend, and it may be 
he hath not done it. And if he have done it, that he do it no more. Admonish thy friend. It may be he hath not said it, and if he have, that he speak it not again. Admonish a friend, for many times it is a slander, and believe not every tale. There is one that slippeth in his speech, but not from his heart. And who is he that hath not offended with his tongue? Admonish thy neighbor before thou threaten him, and be not angry, give place to the law of the Most High. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life, and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law, and the knowledge of his omnipotency. If a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. There is a wickedness, and the same an abomination, and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. He that hath small understanding, and feareth God, is better than one that hath much wisdom, and transgresseth the law of the Most High. There is an exquisite subtlety, and the same is unjust. And there is one that turneth aside to make judgment appear, and there is a wise man that justifieth in judgment. There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit, casting down his countenance, and making as if he heard it not. Where he is not known, he will do thee a mischief before thou be aware. And if for want of power he be hindered from sinning, yet when he findeth opportunity, he will do evil. A man may be known by his look, and one that hath understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. A man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is. Chapter 20 There is a reproof that is not comely. Again some man holdeth his tongue, and he is wise. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. How good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance, for so shalt thou escape willful sin. As is the lust of a eunuch to deflower a virgin, so is he that executeth judgment with violence. There is one that keepeth silence, and is found wise, and another by much babbling becometh hateful. Some man holdeth his tongue because he hath not an answer, and some keepeth silence knowing his time. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. He that useth many words shall be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. There is a sinner that hath good success in evil things, and there is a gain that turneth to loss. There is a gift that shall not profit thee, and there is a gift whose recompense is double. There is an abasement because of glory, and there is that lifted up his head from a low estate. There is that buyeth much for little, and repayeth it sevenfold. A wise man by his words maketh himself beloved, but the graces of fools shall be poured out. The gift of a fool shall do thee no good when thou hast it, neither yet of the envious for his necessity, for he looketh to receive many things for one. He giveth little, and upbraideth much. He openeth his mouth like a crier, today he lendeth. And tomorrow will he ask it again, 
such an one is to be hated of God and man. The fool saith, I have no friends, I have no thank for all my good deeds, and they that eat my bread speak evil of me. How oft and of how many shall he be laughed to scorn? For he knoweth not aright what it is to have, and it is all one unto him as if he had it not. To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue. So the fall of the wicked shall come speedily. An unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise. A wise sentence shall be rejected when it cometh out of the fool's mouth, for he will not speak it in due season. There is that is hindered from sinning through want, and when he taketh rest, he shall not be troubled. There is that destroyeth his own soul through bashfulness, and by accepting of persons overthroweth himself. There is that for bashfulness promiseth to his friend, and maketh him his enemy for nothing. A lie is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. A thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction to heritage. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his shame is ever with him. A wise man shall promote himself to honor with his words, and he that hath understanding will please great men. He that tilleth his land shall increase his heap, and he that pleaseth great men shall get pardon for iniquity. Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise, and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Wisdom that is hid, and treasure that is hoarded up, what profit is in them both? Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. Necessary patience in seeking the Lord is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. Chapter 21 My son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. All iniquity is as a two-edged sword, the wounds whereof cannot be healed. To terrify and do wrong will waste riches. Thus the house of proud men shall be made desolate. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth reacheth to the ears of God, and his judgment cometh speedily. He that hateth to be reproved is in the way of sinners, but he that feareth the Lord will repent from his heart. An eloquent man is known far and near, but a man of understanding knoweth when he slippeth. He that buildeth his house with other men's money is like one that gathereth himself stones for the tomb of his burial. The congregation of the wicked is like tow wrapped together and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them. The way of sinners is made plain with stones, but at the end thereof is the pit of hell. He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof, and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. He that is not wise will not be taught, but there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him, and he casteth it behind his back. The talking of a fool is like a burden in the way, but grace shall be found in the lips of the wise. 
They inquire at the mouth of the wise man in the congregation, and they shall ponder his word in their heart. As in a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool, and the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense. Doctrine unto fools is as fetters on the feet, and like manacles on the right hand. A fool lifted up his voice with laughter, but a wise man doth scarce smile a little. Learning is unto a wise man as an ornament of gold, and is like a bracelet upon his right arm. A foolish man's foot is soon in his neighbor's house, but a man of experience is ashamed of him. A fool will peep in at the door into the house, but he that is well nurtured will stand without. It is the rudeness of a man to hearken at the door, but a wise man will be grieved with the disgrace. The lips of talkers will be telling such things as pertain not unto them, but the words of such as have understanding are weighed in the balance. The heart of fools is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. When the ungodly curses Satan, he curseth his own soul. A whisper defileth his own soul, and is hated wheresoever he dwelleth.